So I used to smoke cigarettes for a long time, for many years, and I was influenced at a young age to smoke. Um, some people, they don't really realize what they're influenced to do until they're doing it, and then they're not even, they're not even the person that they want to be, or, you know, they're not the per, they're not, they're not really a real person because they're just doing things based on what other people believe in their lives and what they influence them to do and what they pretty much created or made other people think. So you're not really living your own life. You know, you're not really in control. You're not developing your own ideals. You're not able to make your own choices because you're just this person that was influenced by someone else to do whatever. And so when it came to smoking, what I found out is a lot of people, it's kind of hopeless. Now, when you think about smoking, sometimes people, you know, they quit for a while and they start back up or, you know, they or they just might just not care anymore. They just give up because it's just like, oh, you know, whatever. But, you know, I, what I started to notice is a lot of people, you know, and there are a lot of poor people too that smoke and it's just like dude it's it just doesn't make sense it's almost insane to be like oh i'm poor but i'm gonna smoke cigarettes when i don't even really have money for for clothing you know like because you know you see some of these people and they don't even have, like they have these old worn clothes and it depends on the the people but you know it's like you can't even afford clothing you can't afford shit else but you're smoking fucking cigarettes and then it's like well you know that's fucking insane and you know some people they you know it's just they just enjoy it and whatever and that's cool and it's a luxury or whatever but you know the the whole thing behind it the health effects and all this is real but another thing that i kind of notice is there's some people they can live to be 80 years old and they still smoke they smoke all their life you know, or they can they can live like long lives and still smoke. And so it's like, well, you know, sometimes it's like, well, maybe that means you should quit. Because, you know, some you know, a lot of people do die from it. They get emphysema, all this shit. It's serious shit. But then sometimes, you know, people do last their whole fucking life. But you never really fucking know. You never you never know. And uh that's one thing that I had to kinda um, you know, think about because it's like, okay, well, I could just keep smoking and not care about it. Like, right, I'm young. Who cares? Whatever. And especially, you know, with with things going on in the world, you know, all the ways that you can die. It's like, okay, well, you know, the fact that I'm smoking, it's almost like it doesn't, you know, it it can be sort of minimized because it's like, oh, well, I could just die in a car wreck tomorrow. Oh, I can die from corona tomorrow. Or you know what I'm saying? I could get corona and die. Or whatever it is, you know, you could die from all these different things. It's like, well, why does it matter then? And you know, it is kind of true, you know, even if you're a drug addict, like it's like, if you died anyways and you were doing drugs, it's like, well, you were gonna die anyway, so um maybe you were better off just doing it, enjoying it, and doing whatever the fuck you want to do. Um but that being said, that's what I'm saying. When you when you start thinking about that, then you're weighing these fucking these options. And then um, when it comes down to it, all it really all it really is is kind of a muscle movement. It's just something that you do in your subconscious mind. It's just you thinking that something's happening. And what what happened to me is I felt like I was suffocating when I when I, I well I had a, like I was a chain smoker. You know what I'm saying? So. I'd smoke constantly, but I did, even like my lungs now, I think are affected by it. Um, but I got to a point to where it felt like I was just suffocating myself. So I'm just suffocating myself. You know what I mean? Just every day. And it's like, why am I doing this? Why? And you think about that. Like, why am I doing this? Why am I fucking smoking cigarettes, man? Why? But I mean, seriously, like, why is it because my idols smoke cigarettes is because they smoke cigarettes in Hollywood. And, you know, I noticed a lot of Hollywood movies. I've seen a lot of movies, especially lately, where they're smoking cigarettes and the whole damn thing. And, you know, it's like, well, they can't make they can't make cigarette commercials, but you never know if someone's getting paid. 
you know, you can pay someone, you know, you can bribe someone, you know, you never really know because, you know, sometimes you can get a lot of money for that type of shit. If, if a Hollywood producer was like, you know, if a, someone from a cigarette company was able to conduct that deal, you know, and, and of course it would be illegally. Uh, well, I don't, I don't really know if it would be illegally. I think, I think it is illegal to do that. But, you know, you could, you could do that. And whenever this is in front of so many people, they're, they glorify smoking and they make it look good. And they make it look, you know, cool and all this shit. And, you know, and that's what I'm saying, though. For some people, smoking's not going to be a bad thing. But that's a risk that they take because, you know, you can live your whole life and not have anything wrong with you from smoking. Um... That being said, I mean, you know, they, they still took the risk, you know, that's what I'm saying is, but it can be glorified, it can be minimized, it can be, you know, put into, you know, all this stuff, but it's like, it's, it becomes a big deal, like you're making it into a big deal, too, because you're, you keep doing it, and you know, it's like, it's this big deal that you have to do it, but you don't have to do it, you know what I'm saying, like, and that's one thing I, like, dude, I don't have to do this. But see, whenever I, because I've been wanting, like, I wanted to quit smoking for a long time. Because I smoked since I was, like, you know, like, 12 years old. And I'm 29 now. So I quit, like, I quit, like, two years ago, I think. I think it was two years ago. I kind of lost track of time. But, um, yeah, so I, I started quit. I started smoking when I was, like, 12 years old. And I never really stopped. I mean, I've been in jail before and stuff. Um, That's a whole different thing but uh <clears throat> anyway so for me it was a long time coming that i was like okay i gotta quit because when you're when you're young and you're a teenager it's like you know you just you just you know you don't give a fuck you just want to fucking you know sometimes depending on who what kind of kid you are or your what's your influences and shit and you know that's where it can be like you know some people just grow up in that environment where, you know, their parents smoke and people around them smoke and, and, you know, so then they start smoking and, you know, I think sometimes you can't really necessarily blame it all on them. And that's why I'm saying whenever I came to realize I can do this and I don't have to fucking, I don't have to be fucking weak. I don't have to fucking play games with anyone. I don't have to be in a relationship with anyone that smokes. I don't care how much I love them. I don't care who the fuck's smoking. I don't have to fucking hang around them if I don't want to. Like, if I really don't want to, I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to fucking do... I don't... And, and I'm just saying... Uh, yeah, I swear on this channel. <laughs> but no, it's like, you know... Fuck. Like, I don't have to fucking be a part of it. Zero. And that's what I'm saying for a lot of different things. It's like, I don't have to be a fucking part of it, dude. I can, do, I can live my own fucking damn life. I don't have to be held to it. I don't have to hold any grudges. I don't have to do shit. And that's where I kind of get got out because I was like, you know, there's some people, you know, going and buying cigarettes and shit and going to the store and whatever, you know. Sometimes, you know, you talk to people about quitting and stuff. And this one guy, he said, you know, um, you might as well just give up or I can't remember what he said, but he's like, you might as well just give up. You might as well just, you know, just quit quitting or, you know, like, like you're just going to be smoking the rest of your life. Like, just, just be okay with it. I can't really remember exactly what he said, but it was something like that, you know? And, cause, or I was talking to him about it and he's like, well, I don't just, I can't remember what he said, but anyway, so, uh, that kind of stuck on me like, Okay, so it's like a challenge, you know. It's like okay, so I can't, I can't quit now, you know. But, but yeah, I mean, I, and I don't want to say it, like I did enjoy smoking. I did really enjoy it, and that's why I did it because I fucking loved it. I love smoking and shit. But when it gets to a point where you're smoking it and you're like, you know, you you can, oh man, it's just it's so bad because you can just like feel yourself being destroyed, and then you know, you know, um. And then when you realize it, it it's kind of not your fault, you know, to a point because you, it's your environment, you know, and that's, I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but you know, it's just, I can't say it enough how it's just like, when you really think about it, you're just, it's like you're brainwashed to do it. You know, it's almost like it's a cult. Like it's almost like smoking is a cult, you know, and you know, like, I don't, I don't want to be a part of it. 
mean, it's just like, you know, it cults can be pretty nasty. And I don't want to, I don't want to say it is a cult, but it is a cult. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really think about it, how it sort of makes you think that you have to submit to it and it controls you and it's this whole thing. But, you know, I start turning off movies now because I, I see people smoking and I'm like, dude, these motherfucking directors, every, or whoever's writing it, the directors or whatever, because a lot of them are smokers or whatever, um, you know, and, and they like to, they think, they like to put in the scenes because it's like cool or something to them. They think it's cool. They think it's, you know, but sometimes, you know, people smoking is a realistic take on how people were actually functioning you know, when, you know, whatever movie. And sometimes it's like, okay. But then some, and then other times it's like, okay, dude, this is just getting fucking ridiculous. Why are you making everyone smoke, dude? And that's what I'm saying. And, and I click off movies now because I'm just like, like, you know, it's like, even if it's a really good movie, I'll just be like, okay, they're, they're just going to smoke the whole time. Like, I'm just watching these people smoke cigarettes the whole time. And it's not anything on me like, oh, I'm envious of you because you're smoking because I got so sick of smoking that I felt like I was suffocating and that's why I quit because I felt like dude I'm just killing myself I'm suffocating myself and I have to rise up I have to fucking make my own choices here man I, I don't have to be a fucking brainwashed I don't have to think I have to fucking do it I don't have to fucking do anything man I'm fucking done if you smoke whatever fuck you man like get, like you know what I'm saying like not fuck you but like fuck this I'm not gonna pee and that's another thing is paying attention to it man you're paying attention to it so damn much and and it is hard because whenever i quit i i did it pretty much cold turkey and there's a lot of different stuff surrounding that but the real the the main thing is just quitting you know what i'm saying the main thing but you have but see like i was saying it took me a long time to get to that point because i was like it's basically like i was like okay well one day i'm going to quit you know and i had a lot of attempts and stuff but that was like one day it's gonna happen. I'm gonna fucking do it. Like I don't give a shit. I know it's really hard. I know it's really difficult. But I'm gonna fucking do it. And you know that and that kind of mentality. Like maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not next year. Maybe not five years. But I'm gonna fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the mentality of it. Just like feeling good or something. Like I'm gonna fucking feel good. I'm gonna come out of depression. I'm gonna come out of anxiety or whatever. Even if it takes fucking five years or whatever you know what i'm saying and that's a whole kind of different thing but um but yeah i mean you know like i just I, th I think it's fucking i think it's just fucking idiotic how people are just subjected to it and they just kind of get stuck in it and they're focused on it and they just keep they keep going with it they keep you know they obsess about it and then they minimize it and it's not a big deal and then it's in their life and they accept it you know but see, whenever I actually initially did, it was really fucking hard. Like, you know, because I tried many times and I just, what actually happened was I had, actually, this, it's this little table right here. It's just like a little shitty fucking table that I got for free that I use as a side table because it's just like, I don't, I don't really care sometimes when it comes to things. Like, this is just like a shitty little table that I had. And so I had my knife and, uh, I was just like I was really it was weird because I was getting or I, you know I was getting really pissed off and edgy and shit when I when it happened when those first couple days and it was like a couple weeks and stuff you know get it out of my system and all this and kind of you know really start like forgetting about it and start you know like doing other things because it's like dude I just can't like what when you think of really, really think about what you're doing you're obsessing about it you're thinking about it so much to the point you're wasting your time thinking about it like you know what i'm saying like you already like there's already a conclusion here you know there's the risk factor and shit you know you just have to fucking execute it and no matter how long it takes but i have this shitty little table so i have my knife and i was really edgy so i was just stabbing this table and i know that might sound like crazy or whatever you know like or uh whatever the fuck you want to think about it but you know it's like i was just stabbing this table just kind of like because <laughs> i was so fucking mad and, and or i was so edgy and stuff i was just like oh my god i want a cigarette so i was just like you know i was just like ah, you know just safely though it was safe it was safe aggression you know um uh but yeah you know it, it, but that's the whole thought process behind it and that's the whole thing about it and um 
you know, I, it's really a thing that can consume your whole life, you know? And, you know, you can look at it however you want to look at it. You can, you can see it however you want to look at it. But when you get roped in and, you, you know, you're one of the people at the bar or whatever the fuck, wherever you're at, you know, you get roped in and you're one of those fucking people that just smoke, 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 smoke. And, and that's the thing, though. That, that's, one, that's something you got to decide because sometimes, you know, when it comes to your personal health, shit might go downhill anyway. You know, you might end up with fucking cancer from something, you know, you know something that has nothing to do with smoking. Um, so that's what you gotta take. But me, like personally, I, I don't want to, you know, I didn't want to risk anymore. I just wanted to be, you know, done with it. And quite literally, I can feel myself suffocating. But, you know, one thing that did help me was, and I know that it's helped a lot of people because a lot of people have talked about it is that, that book, uh, by Alan Carr, the easy way to quit smoking. Now, when I first got that book, you know, it's just like, you know, whatever, but I read it. You know, and when you read that, it kind of talks about some of the things I'm talking about. Like, psychologically speaking, it's an illusion. Like, it's not, like, it's, I don't know, it's like, it's not even happening. You're just subconsciously doing it and you think it's happening. It, it's weird. It's like, it's like there's no point. Like, he, basically what he says is there's no point to doing it. Like, you can't find any real good reason. And it's kind of an argument because, you know, I know you can say that you enjoy smoking. But I think you have to make yourself like you have to kind of make yourself believe and you have to give it you have to go the extreme route of it. You know what I'm saying? You can't just like let it minimize and just be a victim of it and just kind of let it control your life. You have to take it to the, my cats in the background. That's cool. But no, you have to take it to that extreme where you're like, you know, where you see it, you come, to, you, you collide with it. And you fucking, you take it to that extreme where you're, you're fucking conscious of it. You're focused on it. You're aware that you're going to, you're in control of that and your fucking life, man. And in here, oh shit. But here's another thing is when it comes to being in control of your life, sometimes what I have to do, what I've done is I will scream at myself because I will know that I'm doing stupid shit or I'm wrong. Or, you know, I am I need to get myself in check. I will fucking yell at myself like a coach or something. You know what I'm saying? Like coaching myself. Like just yell. Just yell at myself. Or even anxiety, what I've done is just yell at myself. Just like, dude, like, like it's okay. You know, like I'll yell like, it's okay. You have nothing to be worried about. Because I've had anxiety out in public and shit. Like panic attacks. So I have to like get. And one thing I found out. And I'm going to make a different video on that. But this is kind of, um, you know, I would recommend buying that book. Now it's turning into a promotion for someone else. But it's, you know, I'm not affiliated with any way or anything. It's just, you know, I quit. And, you know, whether at credit the book or, you know, just my own fucking self will, I seen the lie of it. I seen, you know, what I needed to see because you can take either route. You can argue this or that, you know, you, whatever you want to fucking do. But at the end, you know, when it really comes down to it, it's going to be, you know, what you choose to believe about it and how far you're willing to go, how far you're willing to take that to, to stop. But that being said, I think that's the end of the video. It's a really long video, and uh, um, hopefully, you know, if you got something out of it, like and subscribe. Hopefully, you can quit smoking. I know that it can be a really time-consuming, sort of absorbing thing, and um, so that's it. Have a nice day. Please like and subscribe if you like this, and I hope wish you well. <laughs> I hope wish you well.